Have you ever wished to be part of the Inkimugan community? Well, please join the newly revamped The Nexus server. Invite link is down below. Let's get straight to the point guys. This is my MKP Season 3 Wishlist. So I kind of group my wishlist into three categories. And the first category is Main Features. Okay, number one. I would love to see a new screen pack. Please. <laughs> like, guys, this this current screen pack, the purple Deception Star screen pack, was good. But it's, I don't know, it's gone, I don't like it anymore, man. It's gone old now. It's gone stale on me. I believe we've been with this screen pack since Season 2.5 which I believe was released back in 2015 and that means roughly 8 to 9 years we've been with the screen pack so definitely I do feel like we're in need of new facelift that means new main menu, new select screen, new life bars, versus screen, uh, Disney Tower screen, all that jazz with new music uh, would just make this update and make this game feel more alive definitely. Now you may argue that a screen pack isn't necessarily needed because at the end of the day this is just a base engine, you know, what the game looks like isn't as important as how it plays and what the features are in the game. I get that, um, you know, if you want to say Borg should focus, and his team should focus on, you know, mechanics rather than screen pack, I get that. But in my humble opinion, I feel like a new screen pack, a new facelift will help a lot with making this update, season 3, feel more bigger than it actually is. And plus, like, yes, the main part is, like, at the end of the day, um, how it plays is more important and the screen pack can be changed by you know whoever wants to create their own screen pack themselves I get that but let's just speak from a casual player point of view who you know downloads this game and you know for the first time and wants to for, and wants to for the first time edit their own MKP game most of the time they'll simply just add in a new character new stages and leave the screen pack as is which means that you know we'll be with, that, that means that the screen pack will be used by everyone else and over time you know that, that gets boring that gets really really boring you can't blame casual players and newcomers new creators for not changing screen pack because they can't have that skill they like they lack that skill to change screen pack so i feel like the engine should have a new facelift by itself already yeah i hope that makes sense either way main point is <laughs> I personally would love a new screen pack. Okay, now onto more meaty features, and I would love to see a tag team system. Now, creators and players alike have been asking for tag team MKP for years now. Four years. Um, tag team in the past has always kind of been iffy, kind of work in progress, experimental feature. The only really good uh, tag team system was MKTX and unfortunately that isn't really open source for us to use. So MKP itself has been qu quite shafted when it came to tag mode. Um, I guess the most famous example of tag system in MKP is MKP tag by Zaxxon Q. And Zaxxon Q would say, will say himself that uh, when he added in tag mode in that game, it was half assed you know. He used uh, Mugen tag, that software to add in tag mode. It wasn't coded from the ground up and because of that, it broke a lot of features in MKP. For example, um, MKP tag, you couldn't do fatalities uh, because the, the, that, the whole system kind of broke with the tag system, with the, with the tag mechanic. And instead of fixing that, Zax and Q just turned off fatalities entirely. So I would love to see tag in MKP. And honestly, it could very much be doable. Like, who knows? Like, I, I, I feel like tag is probably the most possible feature to be added in, in season 3 because of how um, how much progress it's made. Uh, Fabian and Mugen Hawk and all that stuff has really pushed tag um, forward a lot in the community. Has made it a proper feature and it works really really well. So yeah, just a tag mode would be nice. Whether that replaces Simul or exists alongside Simul and turns, whatever um, path you need to take for that. I'll take the system, the tag system, any day. Next feature, I kind of already uh, mentioned it, is Mugen Hawk. Now, I kind of understand why Mugen Hawk hasn't been implemented already in Base Engine. Um, previously, you know, when Base Engine was being updated and worked on, when Hawk was still working on it, um, Mugen Hawk was still kind of in its early stages, you know. Um, unfortunately, it was a bit broken. It would break some MKP features and stuff, and the and, and engine itself. But I feel like now, after many years, Ermaka has done a wonderful job in updating it, making it clean, and pretty much now I feel, I feel like it's safe to add in to MKP without any issue at all. Um, at the very least, it should be implemented uh, solely for 
two main features of Mugenhawk, and that is the um, the hard coded text values, which means you can edit the options menu text to list what button means what, aka A equals high punch, B equals low punch, that um, oh no B equals low kick sorry oh no block. <laughs> Um, that is really helpful for newcomers and new players to understand what A, B, C, X, Y, Z does. But also maybe even, you know, for tag as well. Because I'm pretty sure Moonhawk works alongside tag as well. So having those two at the minimum would be very, very good. Stuff like, you know, animated portraits and all that stuff can be added in, you know, by the, by the player who wants to add themselves. But at the very least, I feel like Moonhawk should be implemented for tag and hard code of text values. Now this one. This one is juicy. And I feel like it's probably the hardest to implement, and that is test your might. Now we've already seen Borg create test, test your sight within Shinobi, so adding in test your might within MKP would be absolutely amazing and a good switch up, you know, in the arcade ladder from just a normal fight. You know what I mean? Uh, having test your might there. Now I have an idea on how to add test your might, and it's not conventional. Uh, so. Test Your Might has always been known to be like a, you know, like um, you mash the buttons and then you press, and then you press another button to then break the break the block, break the rock or whatever, right? And I feel like adding it, making it that system, making it that way, would require a lot more new sprites for characters. You know, you, you need the you, you need to create sprites of them, you know, like charging up and then smashing the rock, right? That takes that that takes a lot of work. Um, to create those sprites, because obviously not everyone has that. So, um, I I say avoid, I say avoid making it that way, because then that would make you know characters that we have now for season two final incompatible with season three. So, my idea is to implement Tisha Might in the way that Street Fighter Two bonus stage is like. You know, back in Street Fighter Two when you play an arcade, and the bonus stage would have you the the character whoever you picked trying to break a car for more points uh, you know you, you you just attack the car and then some attacks do more damage but slower all that stuff you know what I mean some attacks do more points I feel like implementing teacher might that way is the most is the easiest um, for compatibility because you can just use you know the normal sprites nothing needs to be nothing needs to be create, created it's just already all there and I don't know like I feel like that's probably the best way right because like having a cool feature is is cool and all, but if it doesn't work with the things we have now, if the compatibility isn't there, that makes creating stuff for MKP even harder, which is a pretty trade off, a bad trade off that, that I wouldn't take personally. So yeah, I say test your might in the style of Street Fighter 2 bonus stage. Next up, I would love to see more. How do I how do I call this? Like personality, more interactions. Um, I. I I, I absolutely adore the cutscene of the original MKP 4.1 when you fight Shao Kahn and you know like your character walks into the pit 3 he walks into it and then Shao Kahn you know he's, he sits on his throne he taunts you and then he runs towards you you run towards him and the fight, gets, and the fight commences I feel like um, we have that already with you know Quan Chi um, you know walking, in, walking through the portal Shang Tsung from his throne getting up uh, Motar, you know, teleporting in, taunting you. We have that already, but I'd love to see a recreation of that Shao Kahn interaction. That would be really, really cool. And lastly, I feel like the Shao Kahn treasures feature should be overhauled. Definitely. Um, look, guys, in, in my opinion, like initially, having it was really, really cool. But then, what I've noticed over time now, you know, after playing NKP for so long, you know, even this version, that people just end up skipping Shao Kahn treasures entirely, you know? that just don't care about it and skip it entirely and that sucks that's a whole that's a whole feature that book worked on not being used properly so i feel like that feature should be overhauled um let's say make it like you know mk3 slash mk3 where you select shaka treasures out of the five nine symbols and that's it right unlike mkp where you have to like fight you know <laughs> get force victory in your fights and then get a code from your force victory and then remember that code um, until the very end of the playthrough and make sure you don't die as to lose your code it is like it's I get why Borg made it this way you know he's trying to give a throwback to how games were back in the day where you didn't have you know the internet to find your cheats and your codes and stuff this way like 
you have to earn the secret fights and you can't just you can't just cheat to get the fights that is cool but like i said that unfortunately has led to people skipping out on the whole feature entirely so i say make it as easy as shotgun treasures in umk3 where you select your symbol and that's it but make different fights have a different um coin value you know so let's say in novice tower you can only get a maximum of 5,000 coins because you only have like what like eight eight um like eight people like eight eight towers to fight or like no like eight fights to fight so you only get a maximum of like 5,000 coins max if you play perfectly and that can only get you you know the hydro fights but if you play champion tower that means you can possibly get 10,000 coins and 10,000 coins you can get the blaze fight you know what i mean that means basically that you're guaranteed a secret fight but you're not guaranteed the best blaze fight all the time right you have to work for what you get in the game and i think that makes more sense than making it you know locked behind false victory and you can lose your code um after, if you lose which people often do you know what i mean which means that the code that you got means nothing no more and that kind of sucks so yeah some sort of overhaul for that feature would be very very nice so people don't skip it pretty much okay that was the main features now on to characters that i would love to see now i kind of split these into um their own their, their own little categories so one thing that i don't want to see <laughs> is more bosses please like okay look I, i've i've gotten like people in the chat saying that mine like it's, it's a pretty hot take to, to want to want no bosses because you know there's moloch still um you know unmade yet onaga would be cool to see uh, Shinnok as a final boss would be cool to see but in my opinion I feel like we have too many bosses now we have too many you know we have you know obviously the Dili Lions, Shang Tsung, Quan Shi as the sub bosses and then we have you know three Shokan uh, sorry two Shokans and one Centaur you know as the sub sub as the sub boss sub sub boss wait no that's the wrong way around sub sub boss is Shang Tsung Quan Shi sub boss is the Shokans so that's five sub bosses in total and then we have Shao Kahn and then we have Blaze I think there's too many bosses, man. <laughs> we have too many bosses. I, w I want, <clears throat> I want characters, new characters that I can, I can play as normally, right? Um, so yeah, no bosses, unless maybe Shinnok can work. Um, Nacho Shinnok is very, very well made. It has his own in like, 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 um, uh, windscreen as well with Shinnok. That is so cool. But I'd only pass Shinnok, allow Shinnok to be admitted in MVP if the story allowed it for example like um yeah like in the intro like shinnok joined force with shakans or, or something like that have have mkp have its own story and i kind of get you know shark the shao khan fatigue in fact i have it too you know for years since the beginning of time we've been playing against shao khan finding him as a final boss and i get why people are tired of that i am too so having shinnok as like an alternate final boss would be cool you know how is you know like like the sub sub boss there's you know Shinnok or Quan Chi and the sub boss there's you know Goro, Kintar or Motaro there, there's 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 very variations in that whereas the final boss has always been just Shao Kahn so having both Shao Kahn and Shinnok as a final boss you can get either or I think that's pretty sick I think that's also very fun as well like very it's refreshing to say the least like if, if I was to you know see that but yeah overall apart from that no bosses so new characters now I'm gonna talk. I'm, I split this into multiple categories, like I said. And first category would be MK characters. So characters already playable in the main MK games. Uh, who would I want to see from that? Um, I would love to see. Well, so first of all, I, I feel like we should complete the MK4 character roster because we have you know Tanya and Rico in the game now. I feel like you know we should have Jarek or Kai. One of those two characters um, can be in the game next. Um, I think more importantly though is the 3D, for me at least, are the 3D era characters. And in my opinion, I've got my top three in the form of Ashra, Mavado, and Havoc. Those three characters I would love to see in MKP, how they would play in the 2D form, and how they'd look, you know, when they're made by a proper creator. Just those three are definitely my favorite characters in that era that don't get enough love, um, as is. And you know, like I said, seeing them 2D form would be very, very, very sick. In the modern era, so that's MK9 onward, onwards, I would love to see Aaron Black or Gyrus. Gyrus would be Aaron Black is like a very safe, safe bit. You know, what I mean, I, I can already tell what 
how he would play, like, you know, very simple. Whereas Gears is an even more interesting character. Like, how would you implement time stopping and stuff into MKP and stuff? Like, how would that work? I have no idea. Either way, Gears, Iron Black, would be very, very cool to see. And yeah, that's, 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 that's like my kind of like my, my top characters I would love to see who are playable in, in MK. Now onto non playable MK characters. This is where things get juicy. Because in my opinion, I feel like we should focus on this more. MK has, the MK universe, sorry, has so many characters who are mentioned in the lore who are even very important to the story. But we don't ever get to play them, ever at all. And in that list, I'll put Dahlia from, from Armageddon up there. Dahlia is a very interesting character who's apparently very strong, but we don't get to see any sort of power from her whatsoever. So seeing her made be very, very cool. Oh, and to add and, uh, and to, and to more point onto this, I feel like if you're an MK fan, you know, an MK fan who's never played MKP before, but let's say an MK fan sees MK MKP and they see, let's say, Dahlia playable, they'd be like, oh shit, that is sick. We can never play as you in MK, but the fans have made a playable in their own game. In their own game, that's sick. And so along that along that line would be Great Kung Lao, who has already been like some some creators uh, Boo Yu has already worked on you know sprites for the character Great Kung Lao. So seeing him would be cool. I would love to see you know some MK mythologies NPCs too. For example, you know the monks or the the guards from MK mythologies. That would be cool. As well as including you know Kia and Jataka. Seeing those characters would be cool too. Serena, we have, so I feel like it makes sense to have, you know, her three sisters with her as well. Sorry, two sisters with her as well. Kia and Jataka. Jataka, we, we, I, I'd pick Kia over Jataka because of the fact that Jataka are ready, so if I was to pick one of them, I'd pick Kia. I'd love to see Siang as well. We have Sang, you know, the, the, the god monk Sang from the comics, but I'd love to see a Siang uh, made for MKP. And also, as jokes, Rule <laughs> from Armageddon Con Conquers mode. Just add an add <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that's. In my opinion, I would love to see those like type of characters, non playable characters, more so than Ashra and Movado Havoc and stuff. Um, yeah, just those characters. Now, this is kind of like a what if thing. I doubt this will be even considered, but MKP OCs. Uh, if I was to pick, you know, some OCs. Uh, by the community um, to be put into the base roster, who would they be? Obviously, my boy, my favorite OC of all time, Nightmare, just edgy scorpion, you know, love him, I would love to see him puppy made. I think what makes the most sense though, in my opinion, is probably Teezen, um, because he has, you know, uh, he's very important to the community as a whole because of Bloodstorm. Bloodstorm um, was the first project to really go mainstream in the community, you know, uh, before MKP was a very niche thing that not even MK fans, not a lot of MK fans knew, but Bloodstorm, MKB, MK uh, Bloodstorm, was like the first project to really go viral on YouTube, to hit hundreds of thousands of views on each video, gathered a thousand subs for Bruno and Japa, that shit was unprecedented at the time. So I feel like um, to respect that. I feel like Teasen would be a very good, good, um, a very good choice as like a to represent that side of the community. You know what I mean? Um, I'd also chuck in, you know, Propagator if I was to choose, choose a cyborg. Propagator makes the most sense. He's the coolest out of them all, in my opinion. And then I'd also add in Safira. Safira, you know, the 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 female ninja um, made by Gabriel Chaban. I feel like she has really cool potential, story potential. So yeah. I'd pick those four, but again, I feel like MKP OCs are like, I don't think Borg would even consider any of them in the first place. But yeah, that's a what if thing. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys want for characters. Like, do you guys, maybe you guys want to see, I don't know, fucking Zebron, <laughs> right? From MK Daily Lines. Or someone like Mocap, right? right? Like, you're entitled to your opinion, um, but like, the, the possibilities with characters are very endless. They really are. It really is. And the last category is stages, and this one is, I'm not gonna lie guys, very straightforward. Any new stages within the MK lore is good for me, right? Whether that's 3D era stages, stages from the movie, which I feel like is more important. Um, I feel like an MK fan would be more surprised to see a recreation of the MK Annihilation or movie um, setting recreated in Mugen 
they can fight in. That is even, I think that's more cool and can bring in more players to us. But I also want to mention stage fatals. You can't go wrong with having more stage fatals. Um, I can't really give you any ideas on what I would love to see. But like I said, like just add in more. It never hurts to have, have, have any more. Um, just, you know, even adding just generic ones for generic stages. That's cool as well. But yeah, new stages, new stage fatals is, you know, that's, that's normal stuff. Yeah. And that's it, guys. That is my wish list for MKP Season 3. What I want in that game. Uh, do you guys agree? Do you guys want different features? Let me know down below, guys. Uh, we can have a little chat about that, you know what I mean? Maybe gather ideas for Borg. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my little little talk video. Um, I have more topics that I will talk about planned in my uh, to-do list. So yeah, expect more talk videos. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And goodbye.